Another one of the things that we looked at in Crimes of the Educators is where all of this is going. And in fact, it's not secret. It's, it's actually all out in the open. The problem is that the media has not been reporting on it. But where this is all heading is a global education system that will do much the same as what the American education system has done. Uh, standardize children, standardize education for sinister purposes. I mean, dumb down children. Uh, produce widespread illiteracy, change the values of people all over the world, but especially an assault on Christianity, but really an assault on all cultures uh, toward a goal of creating the single world system. Now, again, none of this is secret information. Any of the UNESCO's reports, you can find them online. So we can look uh, at their uh, sexual education reports. They have reports advocating sexual education all over the world. They want to standardize it all over the world. They advocate teaching five-year-olds things that I won't even describe on camera because it, it's, it's too bad. By the time they're 12, they should know how to argue for safe and legal abortion. So, you know, this is not education. This is indoctrination. If we look at reading, uh, Dr. Blumenfeld, the, the co-author of Crimes of the Educators with me, uh, he said that this was the most ridiculous system of teaching reading he had ever seen in his 60, 70 years of looking at this subject. So that's got to be pretty bad. And what they're doing is the same thing that they're doing in the United States, teaching reading using methods that have been exposed as quackery since at least the 1840s, you know, when it was tried in the Boston schools, and then want to take that to the global level. Now, if, if we take it a little bit further, we can see that UNESCO, which is, of course, the UN Education Agency, they have big plans, and they're out in public talking about it. Uh, so let me give you some examples here. They have what they call the World Core Curriculum. And uh, if it sounds like Common Core, good, it should, actually, because uh, Bill Gates, the financier of Common Core, has partnerships with UNESCO, signed with his name, he signed them uh, on promoting global curriculum, master programs for teacher training, etc. And this world core curriculum, here the rabbit hole goes really deep. I, I won't even go uh, you know, too far down it, but I, I encourage people to research it themselves. The guy who developed this world core curriculum, Robert Mueller, who was the Under Secretary General of the UN, uh, died a few years ago. He dedicated his world core curriculum to Alice Bailey. Uh, Alice Bailey, of course, was the founder of the Lucifer Publishing Company. Uh, total wacko. You know, to anybody who's read the Bible, it's instantly obvious what's going on here. She claimed that uh, these ascended masters, these spiritual entities, would come into her and, and they would you know, write for her. So she wrote a bunch of books, Education in the New Age and so on. And uh, she was quite clear about what the agenda was. So I think people need to read about that and find out what's going on here. And then at a more superficial level, you look at what UNESCO is doing. I mean, first of all, we should point out that UNESCO is currently led by an actual communist, Irina Bokova. Uh, she was a member of the Communist Party in Bulgaria, and she still is. It actually changed its name to the Bulgarian Socialist Party after the supposed fall of communism because of the bad taste it left in people's mouths. This regime killed, uh, you know, according to, to the best estimates by R.J. Rommel, the guy who studied democide, 122,000 people were murdered by this regime. Her father was, uh, you know, on the central committee of the Communist Party in Bulgaria. So, you know, sh this woman leading UNESCO, the agency that wants to educate your children, that should be setting off alarm bells in anyone. I don't care who you are. That is totally inappropriate. That's wild. And it's what's happening. And she's running around the world talking about global education. She's talking about using education to uh, transform your children into global citizens ready for this new green world order that they love. And then you look at what Arne Duncan says. Now, Arne Duncan just stepped down as the Obama Secretary of Education, but he was using the same rhetoric. He actually gave a speech to UNESCO where he talked about how UNESCO is his global partner in uh, transforming children to be these wonderful green global citizens ready for their new green jobs. And, uh, you know, when, when they say green, people really should, should be thinking red. It, you know, they kind of change the color. I call them watermelons. Uh, you know, they're, they're green on the outside, red on the inside. But their agenda is very transparent. If you read their speeches, they tell you. You know, Arne Duncan said he's infusing every element of the American school curriculum with uh, the sustainable development movement. Uh, you know, study sustainable development and you'll get a better idea of where this is all going. So people need to wake up because, uh, you know, nobody sends their kids to school to be turned into green global citizens by the Obama administration and UNESCO.